time coming to our So guys, we have arrived in Edinburgh. Wow. What a posh tractor. We're probably going to be those parents that everyone hates at the end of a flight. <laughs> Disassembling, unassembling. Tomorrow we start moving. You guys, daddy's on TV. The bump next to the TV watching it. Have I just tightened that? I wonder how many times we'll get a divorce this week, Reese. Oh my god. We're close already. Sorry? So it is a new week. We've just arrived in London town, haven't we, Rex? We have indeed. We... I'm flying low already. Oh, stunning. Easy access. The night is the night. Um, we are on our way with our friends. They're not here yet. They drove separately. But we're on our way to go and watch Back to the Future the musical. Obviously, as you guys know, we've seen it twice already, right? Yeah. So we're going to see it for the third time and probably the last time now. Oh, is she leaving? When's she leaving? She finishes in mid-July, I believe. So it's probably the last time we're going to see Amber in it because we just haven't got the time between now and then. We've got a baby no. coming, darling. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, we will update you with how it is, but I'm super excited. Always. And then we're going somewhere fun tomorrow. So here's the shining star. This is his third time coming to watch. Yeah, I came to watch 9 to 5 six or seven times. Yeah. And then so I've this, got two months to do that. Shit. And then there may be something else that you may have to watch that first. You heard it here first, guys, and it's an exclusive. <laughs> yes! Oh! Uh. <laughs> Up where they walk. Up where they walk. Up where they say all day. Where's the jamming? We ain't jamming. <laughs> no jamming over it. We ain't jamming. Um, the whole gang's here, by the way. We had an amazing night. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you pinching? You. Yeah. Hi. Oh, is that it? You're done. So guys, we have arrived in Edinburgh. It's such a beautiful and gorgeous little hotel. We're here with Reese, Hugo, obviously. My mum's here as well. So it's a nice little like midweek vacation vibe. Do you know what I mean? Like a little city break. It's gonna be so lovely. I'm so excited. We haven't got much of the day left today because we obviously flew here, do you know what I mean? So we're just having a bit of a wind down. We went to the pool earlier. Hugo absolutely loved it. I mean, I say he loved it. He loved parts of it. Um, he was very sort of skeptical on it at the start. Then he was enjoying it. Then he got sad again. Then he really, really, really loved the, the like jacuzzi hot tub. Obviously he's not allowed in it because he's not 16. At least that's what the rules of the hotel say. So he was just sort of like stood beside it watching all the bubbles going bubble, 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 pop, 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 which was super cute. Anyway, we're getting ready to go for dinner and we'll probably catch up with you in the morning. I think we're gonna do like a recce of Edinburgh see it. I don't think we're going to go to the castle because we've left it so late and it was such a last minute trip that we actually didn't have the time to get tickets for it. Um, and the only ones available are like 3, 3.30. And I just think that's just a bit too late to go and see the castle because obviously Hugo's got dinner time and yeah, it's just not going to work. We're going to have a recce of Edinburgh tomorrow. And obviously Reese loves Harry Potter. So we're going to try and see as many Harry Pottery things as we possibly can, because I think a lot of the set and stuff was sort of set in Edinburgh, or at least based on certain streets in Edinburgh. So we're going to have a look at those and yeah, I'll take you along with us tomorrow. But anyway, I'm going to get ready for dinner and I'll speak to you in the morning. So I've just made everyone walk about an hour and 20 minutes up a hill to go to this gluten-free bakery place that I went to last time I was here with my grandma at the like start of 2020. It's so nice. I'm just hoping it's open. 
It's called Sugar Daddy's Bakery. Honestly, oh, it's unreal. It's open. Buzzing. So we had a lovely day out today in Edinburgh, didn't we, mister? What is it? Yes, it's a toilet. Toilet. Don't put your hands in there, though. You're just going to play with the toilet roll. We went to the cafe today. Honestly, I was so excited to get some gluten-free French toast, right? The whole place is gluten-free. They don't do dining anymore. I'm guessing that's something that's happened since the pandemic. They still had food, obviously. They just didn't have, like, the gluten-free French toast and all that sort of stuff. So like, it was still a lovely place to go. Obviously, we got lots of little gluten-free treats. We got gluten-free sausage rolls for lunch and all that sort of stuff, but we were thinking we were gonna have sort of like a sit-down lunch. And because we didn't have a sit-down lunch, Hugo didn't have a proper sit-down lunch because there wasn't really anywhere locally to that to have one. So we had a bit of a sit-down picnic in like one of the local parks. We thought it was fine. And then Hugo's been a little bit aggy since, so I don't think he's necessarily eaten enough. So we've come back to the hotel, we're gonna have a swim in the pool, and then we're probably gonna go for an earlier dinner. We did try to go to Edinburgh Castle, but they were doing a lot of like renovations work on it at the moment. Do you want to come and sit and talk? Talk. And they're building some kind of like viewing platform there at the moment. So you just couldn't see it like you could last time I went, which was a bit disappointing, but it is what it is. Here we go, give it a kick. Ready. Oh, are we going in the revolving doors? Oh! Oh, come on. Are you kicking? Kick! Ready, kick! Kick! Good boy! Kick! Wow! Wait. What a posh boy! Wow, what a posh tractor. So we've made it to the Royal Botanic Gardens in Edinburgh. Yeah. Hugo is extremely tired already and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. Literally. Yesterday he literally fell asleep like straight away as it's soon like as we'd left the hotel. It was 10 o'clock and he slept for like an hour and a half. Nine, and he slept till like gone almost half the Yeah, end. I don't know whether he's going through a big leap or what, but he seems to be um, slightly more frustrated and yeah. a lot more tired than usual. So yeah, let's see how this Royal Botanic Gardens <laughs> trip is going to go. We're flying home today. On the way out here, he slept like the whole flight, which was amazing. On the way back, I doubt he's going to be doing that. No. So we're probably gonna be those parents that everyone hates at the end of a flight. Where have you gone? There he is. <laughs> I hope that's the window. <laughs> Hello, little monster. Can you see all the rocks? Rock. Rock. Good boy. Rock. Rock. Was it you that said he's learning like a new word every two and a half hours, Race? Yeah. It's mad. A new word every two and a half hours, Hugo. How does that feel? It definitely is. The kitty sings so many. He words. does repeat a lot of them. Yeah. Is that brick? Brick. Good boy. Fire. Fire extinguisher. No, he's not got that one yet. Look at all the babies. Come to play. Hugo, are we going to go on the aeroplane? Obviously, we've made it back from Scotland now. The flight was absolutely fine. Hugo was really good on it, but luckily it was only an hour long. I think any longer than an hour, it might have been a bit of a struggle. As soon as we got home yesterday, Reese and I started disassembling all the furniture. Disassembling? Unassembling. Unassembling all of the furniture and just getting ready because obviously tomorrow we start moving. Honestly, I don't really know how I'm feeling right now. I don't think any of us know how we're feeling right now. I've never not lived like within a close proximity of my parents, that being like physically in their home or in an annex at the bottom of their garden. It's gonna be a really weird adjustment, I think. Don't get me wrong, I'm so excited for it, but I just think it's gonna be weird to begin with. Like I never flew the nest to go to like uni or anything like that. So I just think it's gonna be a little bit odd but we have started the process of getting all of the stuff ready to start moving because we've got the removals van booked for tomorrow. Ideally, we would have probably spent more of this week 
sort of sorting everything out ready for the move we're really not prepared for it in the slightest we're gonna just have to make it work we like we don't even really have today to do anything we've got this evening but today i'm off to peterborough because i'm going to be on ideal worlds tv show again promoting lula bells the hair extension company that i work with quite a bit then when i get home i've got more clients to do it really will be just this evening that we're sorting everything out really ready for tomorrow morning 7 a.m when we pick up that removals van yeah just a bit nervous but all in all, we had a lovely getaway to Edinburgh and I don't regret going whatsoever. It was just beautiful. It was so lovely, so warm. Reese got sunstroke because he got sunburned. It just, I didn't even realise it was that sunny. We were just walking and the wind was blowing and I think it was like 20 something degrees. Anyway, Reese got a bit of sunstroke, bless him. But anyway, I need to go and get ready now because I need to pack my bag and head up to Peterborough. Do some digging. Do some digging. Oh, wow. How good is that? I think it needs to come right up to you, see? Look how much Obviously we turned up to the park and we had no buckets and spades, so Granny went and improvised with flower pots and spoons. Pop, 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 pop! <laughs> Absolutely loving life with the bubbles. Drop for anything like that. Hugo, who is it? Is it Daddy? Hugo's Daddy's on TV. Away from the face, obviously ensuring that I'm spraying heat protection throughout the hair before curling, just to make sure that you're avoiding any damage to your hair. I just finished at Ideal World and it went really well to be fair guys. Like it did go really, really well. I just get nervous every time. I really do. I got a notification though when I came off that Charlotte had been watching it and she posted the most cute pic ever of like the bump next to the TV watching it. Oh, I just loved it. I'm so, so glad she did that. It really made me smile when I came off. It went well. I enjoyed it and I'm going to go home now. I've got to work and then I've got to pack lots of stuff because moving tomorrow. Well, starting to move. We're not officially moving yet. Hey guys, we, uh, gosh, oh, look, this is stiff. How are you doing your end, mate? Have I just tightened that? Mine are done. Do you want to swap? Yeah. How many men does it take to dismantle a bed? Apparently just one. You're useless. Oh! This should just be stuck. There we go. Got no more bed. Woo so both lofts are emptied. Everything is ready to go. We're gonna pack the van up tomorrow morning and then the moving vlog commences. Sorry that this week's vlog has been a little bit shorter than you probably are used to. I promise you that next week's vlog, the moving vlog, is gonna be, it's gonna be a busy one. I wonder how many times we'll get a divorce this week, Reese. Oh God, we're close already. Sorry? You're so stressful. I've been a delight so far, darling. On that note, speak to you later. Love you loads. And catch you next time in a new house.